Hello friends, my today's lecture is about atmosphere. The atmosphere comprises of a mixture of gases and it extends up to about 500 kilometers above the surface of the earth. The atmosphere surrounding the earth acts as a gaseous blanket, protecting the earth from dangerous cosmic radiations from outer space and helps in sustaining life on the earth. The weight of atmosphere is approximately 4.5 to 5 into 10 raised to the power 15 metric tons. The atmospheric temperature, pressure and density vary considerably with altitude. Thus, the atmospheric temperature varies from minus 100 degrees Celsius to 1200 degrees Celsius, depending upon the altitude. The atmospheric pressure at sea level is 1 atm, whereas at 100 kilometers above sea level, it drops to 3 into 10 raised to power minus 7 atm. The atmospheric density at the surface of the Earth is about 1.3 kg per meter cube, which decreases sharply with increasing altitude and gradually thins into outer space. When we talk about composition of the atmosphere, we broadly categorize the components of atmosphere into three classes. Major components including nitrogen, oxygen, water vapor. The minor components including argon, carbon dioxide and trace components include neon, helium, methane, krypton, nitrous oxide, hydrogen, xenon, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, ammonia, carbon monoxide, ozone and iodine. You can see in this table there are two different columns which are showing the percentage of these components by volume and its concentration in parts per million. The Earth's atmosphere can be divided into four or five different layers. If we move from bottom to top, the layers are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. You can see this table which is showing height above the Earth's surface in kilometers of each of the layer of atmosphere, also the temperature range in Celsius and the major chemical species present in it. When we talk about troposphere, it is from 0 to 12 kilometers. Its temperature range is 15 to minus 56 degrees Celsius and the major chemical species present in this layer are oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water vapors and of course there are many other species as well. Then the second layer which is stratosphere its height is from 12 to 50 kilometers then temperature range is minus 56 to minus 2 degrees celsius and the major chemical species that is found in this layer is ozone the third layer that is mesosphere its height is from 50 to 85 kilometers and temperature temperature range is minus 2 to minus 92 degrees celsius and the major species are uh, of course in this layer the uh, species would be found in their ionic form and not in their molecular states and that are uh, oxygen and nitrous oxide and the fourth layer which is thermosphere its height is from 85 to 500 kilometers temperature ranges minus 92 to 1200 kilometers and then again, uh, the chemical species that are present in this layer would also be in the uh, ionic state and not in their molecular forms. For a better understanding of atmospheric temperature and pressure profile, this graph can be very, very much important in order to understand or to know what is the temperature and pressure profile of atmosphere. As we move from bottom to top in troposphere the temperature decreases with height in second layer which is stratosphere as we move from bottom to top the temperature increases with altitude and this uh, the reason of increase with altitude in this particular layer is that ozone is present in this 
particular layer and ozone absorbs the ultraviolet radiations. That is the reason the temperature increases in this layer. The next layer which is mesosphere again if we move from bottom to top in this particular layer the temperature falls with altitude and the reason is most probably that the concentration of molecular species present in this particular layer are very less. Then if we move towards the fourth layer which is thermosphere the temperature will rise with the altitude again. So this is a graph which is very much important if we want to have a clear picture of the atmospheric temperature and pressure profile. Thanks for watching this lecture. Please like, share and subscribe this channel and stay tuned for more lectures. And don't forget to press the ring bell button.